we are the Charleston Academy of Domestic Pursuits, and we are the two deans of the academy. <laughs> I'm Lee Manigo. I'm Suzanne Pollock, and we are going to polish silver. Mm -hmm. We love silver. We do. Both of us I do. Love it. Yeah. There's a difference between sterling and and uh, plate. plate. Do you know what that is, Lee? Well, the plate just has silver on top of it. Right. Over, over copper, I think, isn't it? Or anything, really. So if you are going to a store and you want to know what it is, sterling has little marks on the back. Right. There's Antique little, sterling. Or it has a number. Oh, all sterling, even today. Oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah. It has these numbers, yeah, that are, and each but one is a little stamp, and it means something. But old silver will have hallmarks and not the right. number, but silver plate doesn't. So if you don't know what it, what you're getting, but with silver, if it gets really badly tarnished, we can't see this, but these tongs are. Tines. That tines, that, well, it's solid silver, mm -hmm. so it will, you can clean it if it's silver plate. Right, and you're gonna rub off the silver. Well, those are called high points. It's gonna happen anyway. Right. But the high points, some of the whatever metals the silver has been adhered to will poke through. Which but would sterling be more is worth. exemplary if we had an example of it. But anyway, well, we don't. We only like sterling. No, so I've got some silver plate I like. Do you? <laughs> oh yeah. But sterling is worth about five, at least five times more than silver plate. Oh yeah. And I have some Sheffield. Do you know what Sheffield is? Old Sheffield plate. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. That is old plate. Mm -hmm. Well, so today we have rights, but we both use different stuff. Right. And we're going to start polishing. Now, Suzanne's brought out stuff at her house that needs to be polished from stem to stern. But I brought a few little things from my house. It's so cute. What yeah. is that? That's a little Winnie the Pooh with a honey pot. And see, it's got oxidation. See how it's got these little, it's a little dirtier maybe than I would like. But in where his legs are, and here, it's got black. Well, actually, the silversmith or goldsmith, as it's technically called, she, um, put those in there to, to make it more artistic, to give it more depth. It's like color. the flowers, the repose right. here. So you all don't right. actually want all of that oxidation cleaned off. So for that, you'd use something called a silver cloth. It's like this, and you just rub it on the silver, and it just gently buffs and shines it so that you don't, because what Suzanne's doing is she's getting it yeah. all over and into the crevice and see how her. And, and so, it, yeah, it's getting the tarnish off. And what you do is you use, the best thing to use actually is so, are old t-shirts. Yeah, perfect. But this well, your is husband, old dish your towel. Son, you, I guess. And then you just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing the tar tarnish off. And then it, since this is a cup for drinking, you would actually um, rinse it. It, it. Well, I would rinse it with soap and water. Right. And the other thing that I brought was this little 18th century um, bed warmer, little miniature bed warmer. That's so cute. And see, they would have put, a life-size one would have been like yeah. this tall, and the pan would maybe be like this. And they don't know if these were made as little prototypes to show you what the big one would look like, or maybe they were made as children's toys. But anyway, it's been around since, you know, about 1750, and it would not be around from 1750 if you got it wet all the time by running it underwater when you um, polish it. So again, I'd want to use the silver cloth on this just to gently buff it. It's also so old and thin. So you so, just gently buff this one. You don't give it a lot of elbow grease. So to keep your silver, what you can do is the flatware, you would keep it in a felt lined drawer. Mm -hmm. And you want to keep air away from it. That's what makes it tarnish. These things, if you don't, I use them all the time for, for arrangements. But if you didn't do that, they, to get them away from air, you put them in plastic bags and yep. close them. Or you could put them in um, cellophane. Oh. That's what Jenny Sanford said they did at the governor's house. That he put everything wrapped in cellophane. Wow. Okay. Which is kind of, or you, I keep them in these little bags. Right. Which are sometimes just made out of the silver cloth material themselves. Right. Just to keep them extra shiny. But this is not. It looks like a lot of work, but it's it's no time to mm -hmm. po to polish something. And if you just do a little whenever you feel like it, like I used to polish on Saturday mornings. Yep. And. It you makes your music, life watch TV. so elegant. Yeah, yeah. Much it's a little better. bit of work, but if you do it over a little bit, a lot, mm -hmm. <laughs> over the long period of time, you have a very elegant life, well lived. Life well lived, absolutely.